All right, what's up, guys? Hey, how are you? Yeah, how are you guys? Good. Good. Yeah. So, where does this season pick up? This season picks up um, the first day of senior year. So it's it's the start of their entry into senior year, um, and they're just coming off the backs of uh, a calm and quiet summer vacation. Uh, I don't know. I know that um, I know that Betty's storyline is is much more integrated with Charles than Jughead's is, uh, at least from what I've read thus far. Um, but I don't I don't see it as as I mean I, I've been asked a lot if it's going to put tension into Betty and Jughead's relationship, and as of now, it doesn't look like that's where it's going. Um, but Jughead's only in Riverdale on the weekends now, um, so his. His main storyline is the prep school, which is the sort of building blocks of the whole flash forward thing that, that we're doing uh, with season four and kind of the locus of, of, of the mystery of this season is this very strange elitist prep school. Um, but I, I, I don't know how much uh, interaction Charles and Chuck are actually going to have this season. That Yes. Uh, the way it was described was very Gossip Girl sort of prep, like Upper East Side kids, um, and then Jughead. <laughs> uh, it's sort of like a Dead Poet Society, um, and Jughead's integration into it is based on uh, this little um, story he had, well, the story of the Gargoyle King that he had submitted to this writing contest, and then a teacher being fascinated with his voice and taking him into the prep school. Uh, but I think I think it's going to be fun to play with. Yeah. So, what the storylines are taking you away from your normal co-stars, so how is that for you? I haven't worked with KJ in like three seasons. So. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't think it's really pulling me away from them, so to speak. I, I think... I think... The way the way they write it, I, I could be in every scene with them or, or not. I, it's it's really just the prep school is serving as as the the setting for the mystery. But I, I don't I don't assume Chuck is really going to be away from Betty or or Archie. Or I think so. At the end of last season, we had we had actually filmed a scene that we didn't put in the final cut, which was. Uh, Jughead relinquishing the serpents to Tony Topaz, um, but I, I, it's my understanding that they want to have a bit longer of a narrative with that um, and play around with that a little bit more, but I, I think that's something, I have a feeling that, that season four Jughead is very much season one Jughead, which is um, the perspective character, kind of the writer who's, who's viewing everything from the outside and not so much uh, the gang leader. Uh, <laughs> but, so with, oh, yeah, no, please. Oh, uh, I was going to say, wait, so with the farm and the school and the juvenile detention facility, can we assume that this prep school will also have some sort of ominous, evil, under, some <laughs> undercurrent? I would say some that's a pretty good guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like all pretentious prep schools. <laughs> so is there a or like everything in Riverdale? Yeah. Uh, there's got to be like a taxidermy lab or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like Jughead doesn't fit into this narrative. No, does at all. Does he develop all. any friendship with anyone in this movie? I don't know yet. Um, I, we haven't really uh, dug too deep into it, but I, I, I don't think so. I think there's one character that, that he may get along with, but... The rest of them, the way they're written, is uh, really pretentious. Oh, I think you guys are Thank you. Thank you.